Hey guys, welcome back. Robocraft Early Access Coverage. This is episode 44. I'm an Igneous and today, my first four matches as a medic. Oh god. These are literally the first four matches that I did as a medic. No matches before, no matches in the middle. Four matches. Now one of the, one of the things that I'm trying to do, we're going to do maybe two or three videos as a medic and maybe more after kind of sporadically. It's kind of take a look at things from the point of view of medic, describe what I'm looking for, maybe some of the differences and things that we see as medics that we don't normally see when we're taking on kind of a damage role, and, and looking to the outcomes. So first of all, I'm not taking the lead in a damn thing here. This is something that people need to understand, is that medics are not frontline fighters, and if you're looking around waiting for a medic to head out first, you're doing it wrong. This map sucks, I should point out, as a medic. Now, my bot is fairly maneuverable. I can kind of uh, get in and around and do various different things, but this guy is just pulled way out in front of us. And now I'm jostling for position with the other medics. The stuff is glitching. We're seeing through the world. It's very rocky at the bottom of the world, apparently. And things have gone kind of badly uh, from the very beginning. <laughs> now, one of the things I'll point out, yeah, I know, my weapon placement on this particular bot is not so great. You'll see it somewhat corrected later on towards the end of the video, but for now we're just trying to make do with what we've got. Doing what we can to keep people alive without getting blown up ourselves. It's not easy. The difficulty here is that we all basically came down this one narrow lane. There's guys in front of us that are like shooting at things and they're soaking hits and then there's medics in behind and they're just kind of sitting there uh, and, and nobody's giving each other room to do much of anything, and that's not ideal. So, right off the top, things are going badly. I'm taking hits. I'm over here trying to heal up this, this rail walker. Not because rail walkers are so potent that we need this guy back in the fight, but because eh, he's over here and he could use some healing. And I was trying to get away from the scrum. Because it was kind of feeling like nobody was really getting anything important done. The rail walker didn't survive. None of our guys are surviving. They just kind of, they get down to about 60% health and then they just pop. Because, <laughs> uh, see, this same thing, about 60% and they pop. The walker here, uh, I'm trying to back away. He's not helping me at all. He's a medic as well, so, you know, can't necessarily blame him. But the medics live till the end. We were the last ones to die. Not a very fun match, I have to say. It was my first uh, introduction to life as a medic. Clustered, chaotic, uh, not very um, organized, you might say. You can never expect organized when we're talking 10 complete strangers against 10 complete strangers, but you can hope for certain basic things. Now I'm following this little babby bot. Um, I, I don't necessarily have any faith in their ability to survive through any amount of punishment whatsoever. Uh, the front part of my bot that I'm so proud of that soaks so much damage has probably got more blocks than this thing. But he's the one who moved out first, so I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to go with the guy who goes out first and then hopefully people will follow me. And I look up at the minimap and they're just scattered all over the damn place. They don't really think too much uh, about where they're going. Uh... Babybot stopped, and now Floating Babybot has taken the lead. The thing with people who just kind of shoot randomly, they, they shoot at their, their teammates, they shoot at ground things, is it's always kind of distracting. This, this time I watched him, I saw him shooting, uh, I said, okay, well, probably uh, some enemies ahead, and it was true, and there were a lot of them, and he just sat there and ate everything. There's only so much I can do in that kind of situation. I, I kind of appreciate that the chat feature in the game is kind of eh. Because then there's no real incentive for people to complain. Because most of the time when people are chatting in chat, I don't see a damn thing. My attention is elsewhere. So now we've, we've got a little bit of support coming our way. And I'm doing the same thing that I've always wished medics would do. As I'm staying the hell back from the front lines. First of all, I don't need to be on the back bumper of the guy in the front. To put it, you know, politely. It gets in their way, it restricts their movement, it doesn't serve any practical benefit for me, and it's just really a bad habit to be in, is thinking that I need to get right up and, you know, basically be bumping around with the people that I'm healing. I want to make out, oh, first of all, because this is only my second match as a medic, I want to be learning what my maximum range is for my beams, 
so that I can kind of gauge things a little bit more by sight as opposed to trying to use the reticle on my bot to gauge whether or not they're close enough or even worse, you know, trying to heal them and you only get the little skinny beams indicating that, yeah, we, we know you're trying to heal them, but you're too far away kind of thing. So I'm pushing up with this guy and again, you go from a damage roll to a healer roll, you kind of have to be prepared to sacrifice that whole aspect of being able to choose where you go. Uh, I didn't realize until uh, after I'd done these matches that flyers that are healed sometimes can't fly again. So I see shadows on the ground and I look up and it's one of our guys and if I can heal him, I will. You know, just try and be a good sport, not realizing that might not be the best thing. So now this guy is, is well engaged with a bomber uh, in full support of that. And again, you can see I'm not in a rush to get in his way. I'm not in a rush to get up on his ass. I've got my healing beams on him. He's got his guns on the bad guys. He starts to back up. I start to back up. I don't need to watch, the, you know, if there were more bots here, I don't need to watch all of them. I just need to watch the guy who's basically uh, soaking all the damage. Anyone else who's getting tertiary healing, that's fantastic. But there's, there's a time and place where you have to realize you can only do so much. I don't want to be one of these medics that has like this long list of bullet points of rules they expect other people to follow. Um, and you will do so because I am the medic and I am important and I am a hero and a martyr. A martyr hero. A martyr, sometimes a hero. I don't want to, I don't want to be, look what the hell is this? <laughs> it's a tier 7 match. And it's like a tier 2 over tiered plasma go-kart. It's, it's not. Obviously it's a tier 7 bot, but it's the same thing. It's the micro mini go-kart with the over tiered plasma cannons. I wonder how long he'll survive. He's not getting any healing from me. I'm not wasting my time on that crap. Point being, medics sometimes get this kind of complex. Sometimes, not, and not all medics, just some, and they, they're really vocal about it. It makes it seem like all medics are that way. They're doing everyone such a favor. They're so important. Everyone has to listen to them do what they say. I'm just trying to take everything that I've learned about the things that medics do that piss me off and not do that and try and be a good medic that way so here again little babby bot with guns he's got some electro plates so we'll give him a little bit of credit he's not doing anything so I'm gonna look over here and see if someone's got something going on uh, this guy and I just zipped right around that corner I was I was trying to heal him and I just kept going was... <laughs> oops Fires kind of hovering over the medics, waiting for heals. I, it's not like I was busy with other things, but for some reason I'm just slipping and sliding all over the damn place. So I'm trying to keep an eye on, first of all, uh, at making sure with this bad configuration of guns that I'm getting as many beams on this guy as possible, but also remembering some of the things that I've read from time to time and not allowing myself to tunnel vision on the bot that I'm healing to the extent that I could be suddenly surrounded by, you know, all these bots that are very, very close to me shooting the hell out of me because I was just focused on this one little thing. Unfortunately, when I do that, I see things that I don't like to see. I see what's happening with our team. I see, uh, for example, we've got five bots here, and the ones who should be out doing damage are sitting here waiting for heals. I am more than willing to advance with the people who are going to go out there and shoot and take the fight to the enemy if they would just advance and shoot and take the fight to the enemy. In this case, they're not, and we are now surrounded. This is a problem. And again, you can see I'm healing the guy below me, but then I'm taking a look around and seeing how bad the situation is. Really, our only chance at this point is to get up towards the cap, and those idiots in the back could just go to hell. Straight to hell. I'm not hate healing people while they sit around and do nothing and let the enemy come at them from all angles, which is what was happening. They're going to have to do something about the enemy capturing our base. I'm looking over here and I'm wondering how, with so many bots, they're getting heals. How is the enemy possibly spare anyone to capture our base? Their entire fighting force is just sitting there doing the same thing ours was. It's just not very fun. I don't know, maybe other people will disagree. It's just everyone's sitting in a cluster waiting for someone to stick their nose out, and then the, the guy who advances gets punished because everyone else is just in this tight-knit group not doing anything. I, I don't think I like that. I don't think medics should be supporting that, and I don't think medics should be encouraging it by healing people who are sitting there in the back lines doing nothing. 
I would rather drag someone out to the front and watch them get popped than sit in a cluster healing people who don't want to move or do anything until they're at 100%. Fortunately, this guy got all my guns before I could get his, and now I'm just kind of a bouncy little blob of happy yellow prisms sliding around on the ice. It was one of those times of day, sometimes I notice, there's just times of day where matches just go really, really badly, uh, consistently, one after another. It's, it's not even competitive, it's just frustrating. Not the best time to be a medic, I do say. The hell are we supposed to do? I'm like the last remaining bot and I'm thinking, do I want to live to the end or am I hoping someone's going to turn around and blast me? I don't, I don't think it matters at this point. It's going to be right down to the wire, too. Bunch of bastards. So this will be the last match. You can see I've, I've relocated some of the guns. The one's in the very bottom there. That one in the, the top towards the back uh, is still not in a very good spot. But the other five are not bad. Um, it, kind of the best that I could do. Knowing that I needed to do better than what I had, but not necessarily worrying about perfect. So again, I'm looking around and I'm saying, okay, who's going where? I see this little babby hover bot, and I think, okay, well, he, he headed out pretty quickly. So if I maybe head out after him and then some other people see, then maybe they'll follow. And then he just stops. And I get spotted, so I look up, and I see the bomber, so I spot him, and this guy just kind of stops and sits there. He's not shooting at the bomber, he's not going in the tunnel, I'm out of there. I'm not waiting around on that. There's a time and place where it's not even about being decisive, it's just about having a clue what's going on around you. You got a bomber spotted, and you got a tunnel in front of you. There's two things you could do, just pick one and do it. You don't need half an hour to sit there and decide what the hell. So now I'm looking and I'm seeing that there's really an unfortunate disparity here. We've got five medics on our team. And really derpy bots flipping around, getting knocked over, getting knocked upside down. It's just bad. It's bad. It's like they there's a certain time of day where they just get all the crazy kids and feed them a lot of candy. And if you could see them together in a room, you'd see that the reason why these matches are so ridiculous is because they're not even actually playing. They're just kind of rolling their faces back and forth across the keyboard laughing at each other. That's kind of how I feel about this. Because we barely moved. We barely moved from the cab. I'm looking for someone to follow who looks like they might be doing something interesting and there's nobody. They're just they're sliding around all over the place on their backs. They're down on the ice river sliding around. And then here we are with the medics, one of us gets hit with this SMG, and all of us are like, yeah, heal that bastard, everybody now. There's only so much you can do. <laughs> so much you can do. This is one of those cases where our offense is so limited to begin with, that they're, and they're just kind of going out one by one. See, another guy just got blasted. You can't... They're just scattered. They scattered. What the hell are we supposed to do as healers? I'll, I'll follow anyone who looks like they're going to do something useful. That guy wasn't, so now I'm mad. <laughs> Very angry at this red team, but I'm more angry at the blue team. So I'm just going to I'm just going to take it in the face and uh, see who who dies first. Basically, is what's going to happen here. The medics, the other medics on my team, they're still in the back, healing each other. It, it's getting mildly sexual and more than a little bit disturbing at this point. There's nothing I can do about what they're doing. All I can do is something about what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm pushing to their their cap one way or the other. And I see there's one guy kind of crash landed down there. I'm a little bit beat up. I'm more than a little bit beat up. I'm kind of one third gone. But I don't know what his story is. I was hoping maybe he was AFK. Uh, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. My guns, all I have is one left. So we'll spin around and that one's gone now too. Game over.